Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today on the bench we have this Cobra 138 XLR CB radio that has got a receive problem. So we're going to see if we can find it and see if we can fix it. But before we start, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join the Facebook group, have a look at my website, join Patreon, all that lot. And now a quick word from today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide range of services including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and much more. PCBWay also offer a prototype PCB assembly service with component sourcing and online quote with 24 hour delivery services. PCBWay is committed to meeting all of your PCB needs. They offer quality, on-time delivery and competitive pricing. Want a two-layer board? Start at $5 with 24-hour turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below to check them out. So, here's the radio. And essentially, it looks like it's working. RF gain's been changed into a and the select and the dimmer has been changed to the RF gain but that's fine and it seems to be working well but the customer did say that it was intermittent the receiving so we need to try and get it into fault condition see what's going on so sure enough it's going to fault condition absolutely nothing on receive A little tap around brings it back on. So it looks like we've got a loose connection somewhere. But where? So I was doing a little bit more prodding around. And it seems to be coming from this relay. So as you can see, I've got 0.8 of a volt there. And then we're just going to give it a little tap there's our 13 volts and receive comes back on so it looks like we've got a dirty relay contact so put it back into fault condition again and there we have it so we've got supply going in to the relay there. The centre pin will be transmit and that top pin will be the receive voltage. And it looks like that's our problem. So I suppose we should get the relay out and have a look what's going on. So we'll take the bottom off. already you can see that this thing is built like a built like a tank very nice and it's had the usual Mora modifications done to it so we've got the FM board we've got the PLL board as well very nice so we don't need to do anything with those So here's our relay and a nice big beefy relay hitters as well and luckily just removing this clip we can pull the relay out of its socket now the pins don't look dirty at all and they seem to be very tight so i think it's just a dirty relay contact So what we're going to do with this is we're going to lift the lid off like so. We're going to energize the relay so it opens up the normally closed contacts which are the ones we want. I'm going to slot a piece of paper 
in between them. And we're going to de-energize the relay. So now the relay has grabbed onto the piece of paper. Now we're going to apply some contact cleaner. And we're just going to start working the paper in between the contacts. And that should be enough to clean our contacts up. I can see a little bit of dirt coming off one of them, so maybe that was our problem. Little bit more switch cleaner. Okay, very nice. See, there is a little bit of dirt on it. So was that our problem? A bit of a bit of carbonization of the contacts. So I'm just looking at the contacts a bit closer to see how they look. I think it's this contact that was our issue. And you can see it's a little bit tarnished on the outside, but the switch cleaner should have sorted that out. So let's put it all back together and see what happens. But before we do that, we're just going to put a bit of contact cleaner into the socket. I doubt it was this socket that was a problem, but we'll do it anyway. And there's our relay securely in place. Sure enough, I can't get it to go off anymore. No amount of tapping or switching the relay will get it to fault, so I think we've cured it. And the customer wanted this light changing behind the signal meter. So we're going to take the LED out. I'm going to put a normal bulb in its place. There, that's a lot better. Looks a lot brighter and a lot clearer. So, just have a quick check on the frequency counter. Make sure everything is within spec and everything looks okay. So, we've got a high band there, there's our mid band, there's our low band. Beautiful. Got zeros as well. Very nice. So I left it on test for a little bit. Couldn't seem to get any any faults any more faults with it. Does sound really good as well. Nice and clear, nice and responsive. So there's the Cobra one three eight XLR restored back to its former glory, should we say. I know it's not totally original because of the Mora modifications, but you know, that's an acceptable modification for this radio. Makes it a lot more usable, and a lot more flexible than what it is. But as for an SSB radio, absolutely cracking, no problem at all. But anyway, 
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join the Facebook group, join Patreon, have a look at my website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.